Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of I'm Just a Bill here on Chasey K Plays. Uh, excited to get back into this. So, <clears throat> I did learn a couple things. Uh, one, we need 300 cards, I think, um, if the internet is to be believed, to, to play against, uh, what is this guy, Ken? Yeah. Um, oh, we do have 300 cards now. All right, great. Uh, so we can take on him. That'll be awesome. Uh, something else I did is between between last episode and this episode, um, I didn't want to, you know, grind a bunch of... I know we did some grinding kind of last time to get more cards, but I didn't really want to grind for new packs and new Pokemon cards off this because I want everybody to see, hey, these are the cards we got. These are the decks we built. Uh, and not just feel like, oh, yeah, I just grinded my way to victory. But what I did do was go back to Mason's lab, and I did grind for energy cards. Because you can uh, play against one of his assistants, and he just gives you packs of energy cards um, when you beat him. So I, I did that a bunch. I got a bunch of energy, so now we can build a bunch of decks if we wanted to, uh, and not just be limited to the, the decks that we had. But at the moment, uh, we've got this water deck and we can face Ken again. So uh, actually, just can't cancel out. No changes, get out of here. Um, so let's try taking on Ken and see what happens. Six prizes. All right, this is one of the big ones. Let's see what happens here. Um, also, uh, some pretty big Pokemon card news came out between the last episode and this episode, and that is uh, there's a new there's a new game. There's a new Pokemon trading card game Pocket. It's, uh, it's, on, your, it's on your phones. Um, or your iPads. Which I, I'm mostly playing it on the iPad, but um, it's interesting. I, I kind of like it. We'll, we'll talk about it more as we go in, but let's, uh, let's see what we've got first. Uh, we do have a water Pokemon. Could put up a mill tank to start with. Let's let's try. Let's start with a Merrill. See how that goes. And then we can throw in an Electabuzz and a mill tank and see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, I think it's pretty neat. It's uh, the the premise is it's really easy to get cards. In, in that they will give you two free packs a day. It is kind of a gotcha. You can put in a fake currency to get more packs, and you can also buy those that fake currency with real currency if you wanted to. Um, so far, I haven't spent a dime, and I've opened a ton of packs. Um, it's just... Here, let's, uh, let's bubble first. Nice, got the paralysis. Um, so the the idea is that you open these packs, and each pack is five cards. You're not, you know, they're not standard booster packs, but um, you get to open, you know, ten Pokemon cards a game uh, a day, and that's pretty sweet. Or or more if you spend more. And um, one of the these these are just regular cards. Like you're not you're not. I don't think they're regular cards. Um, I think they are cards that are custom made for the game. And uh, they've got... Oops. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, what do we want to do here? Hang on. Before we get back into the game. So we could give you another water energy to make the water gun better. We don't have to do that at the moment. Oh, I guess we do want to check. Because they put... Oh, they got a... He's got a ho -Oh. That's great. Um, woof. That's a lot of energy, though. Okay, so... And the Magmar doesn't have anything on it. So we're going to knock this out. We're going to get a couple turns. Yeah, I think I think we do put the water energy on, on Meryl. And if we draw another one, then Meryl's going to be really deadly to to that um, to that ho. -Oh. 
Um, alligator. We could really use another uh, Pokemon, a basic Pokemon. Uh, we could also use another Water Energy. There you go. That's what we're looking for. That is helpful. I guess we really didn't need the water energy on it. We'd, we'd be doing that much damage anyway. Um, all right, put out a mill tank just on the back burner. Let's have let's have Electabuzz going, and then we'll finish you off. I suppose it probably would have been smarter to if we were going to put the energy on you bubble first to to do the twenty and hopefully paralyze. Um, or you don't put on the energy and you just do the water gun because it's um, would be 40 at that point. And you could hit him twice and kill him. Ooh, okay. Slowing us down just a touch. But we're, in a, we're still in a pretty good spot. Uh, let's grab the bill first. And then the potion and the energy. I'm gonna finish off with those two. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep putting stuff on the bench. And we can't attack, so we'll end the turn. Okay. Just don't, just don't kill. There you go. <laughs> now we're good. Probably should have paralyzed there too, but we should be okay. Because if if and when he knocks out Merrill here, <clears throat> makes sense. Uh, we can bring in Electabuzz and just finish the day, or not finish the day. We still have more going on. Um. Okay, you use the bill now, you get the energy. And, okay, so we want the energy for Electabuzz, but we just want to use Swift at the moment. Let's go with that. Got the Magmar. Computer Search. Now that's a good card. I would like to get Computer Search. That's gonna be rough. We'll have to flip now to see if we can hit. Uh, sorry, I'll talk more about Pocket once we're finished with this. Let's put the water on Mill Tank. Let's also. This heals up 30, right? Yeah. <laughs> in the in the pocket game, it only does 20, which is screwing me up. Um, yeah. Okay. Do we use the potion now anyway? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We're in a bad way if this Electabuzz goes down. Oh, nice. Double heads. Those are, those are very useful to us. And now we could Swift to win against this. That's a good card. Um, I'd hate to lose all these uh, evolution cards, but we're not really getting much out of them. I'd rather have a bunch of energy. Okay.
Not even water energy for the Meryl, but... We'll just put this on the mill tank, have something in the back ready to go. We'll try a Swift, we got a hit. Yeah, all right. So they've just got a cool lava left. Water energy is good. I might draw them another basic. That's funny. He keeps trying to I guess I guess that is maybe one of the things with um with the AI here. They didn't change the AI of how trainers battle or, or club masters battle. So the club master is seeing that Pichu on our bench is the lowest uh, HP, so they're trying to do the bench damage to Pichu but they're not seeing Pichu's Pokemon power that says you can't, you can't, uh, evolve Pokemon can't do damage to it. So they keep wasting their time, which is interesting. Um, let's put the water on Meryl. And let's go for... If we Thunder Punch and we hit ourselves... I think the Quilava beats us, but I think you still have to try for the damage anyway. Okay. That's okay. We can switch to uh, Mill Tank if we do get knocked out. That makes sense. Although, if we get another water energy, the Meryl just wins. Uh, let's try it. Let's try the Meryl. Damn. Mm. Yeah, I guess you put it on the mill tank. So we can still bubble and hopefully paralyze. Damn. Well, we're still in a pretty good spot. This thing shouldn't be able to kill us. Twenty to us, and then yeah, again, trying trying to do the ten to to beat you, and it's still not working. Energy search, that's useful. Would have been more useful last turn, because now Meryl's probably just dead to the Cyndaquil. So let's put this on the Totodile. Evolve that into Croconaw. Which Croconaw was that? It's the bite one. Okay. So we we can still put a, a lightning energy on it. Oh, we've already put an energy on, right? Um, okay. That should be it. Because we can bring Crocodile in now. And bite for 40. And that's it. He doesn't have any more bench Pokemon, and we don't have any more prizes, so double win. Pretty good. Our first medal. We will take that. I think these are our first mystery packs, too. Entei! That's a pretty sweet card. Uh, what was the energy burn? Oh, yeah, that is that is really nice. So, yeah, you could put him in any in any deck. It doesn't have to be uh, a fire deck, because he'll just make the energy fire. That is that is pretty sweet. Knocked Owl. 
instance during your turn before you attack, you may look at the, one of the following. Top card of either player's deck, a random card from your opponent's hand, or one of either player's prizes. That's interesting, I guess. And then uh, just a normal wing attack. Pyloswine. Ram for 30, Earthquake for 70. 30 to the opponent, but 20 to us? That's... Necessarily like that. Although it does switch out of Pokemon. Interesting. And then 10 damage to each of our own bench Pokemon. That's a. That's not great. I and mean, it is a lot of damage, but it's also just kind of not great. Jolteon. Oh, look at it with a little Togepi there. That's that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. So Tailwag can. Uh, Okay. 30, 30 or less damage is just zero. That's cool. And then... Flipping coins... I don't mind flipping coins for, like, extra damage or, like, the Electabuzz on maybe we do extra damage, maybe we take a little damage, but when it's... When it's these, you know, 10x, 20x, 30x kind of card... Uh, kind of attacks where you could end up just doing zero if you flip poorly. I don't love those. Oddish, look at that Oddish. Tackle, yeah, obviously that makes sense. Horsey, just a water gun, and eh, grass energy, and not to, okay. Heck does 10, and then if you're putting us any bench Pokemon, this does 20. And Tini. That's not very good. And a Mysterious Fossil, sweet. Another Entei. That's... Alright, we, we can handle that. Uh, Murkrow. Threaten. Can't play trainer cards. I, like, I usually really like that effect. And uh, kind of weak pack. A double colorless is really sweet. We're going to definitely throw that in the deck for sure. Uh, Cedra. 20 damage to a bench. And then a better water gun. Okay. Another Wooper. Love this guy. Defender, that's a very sweet card. Spine up, tackle, and take down. Damn, so you're going to do so much damage already to yourself with the spine up, and then you bring out the pile of swine, and it does even more damage to itself. That's Gust of Wind, what a great card, except now it's flip a coin where it didn't used to be. That's a, that's a real bummer. Still probably useful to, to take anyway, even if it's a 50-50 shot. Um... All right, well, with the Fire Club down, we should probably think about making a new deck for a new um, a new challenge here. And we do have these Entes now. I kind of want to make a Fire deck. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's back out first. We'll, we'll, we will make a new deck. But I still want to tell you about the, uh, the other game. So let's, uh, let's just head to the Grass Club. Actually, before we do that, let's go to Ishihara's house, see if, now that we have a medal, anything's here, you want to trade or anything. Okay, there's not. That's fine. So we'll go to the Grass Club. Let's go chat with some people here, see if anybody needs anything. Give you this Blossom if you give me an Otta, sure. We'll do that. That's a, that's a good trade. Mega Drain. Heals damage to half, sure. Flower does 10 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon. That's very cool. Like a do the wave for a Wigglytuff. Solid. Oh, okay. That's just a battle. We'll come back and do that. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so while we're building this fire deck, let's uh, let's talk a little bit more about that. Uh, 
so you've got you've got the cards that you can get, and they're they're kind of different cards from normal cards, from what I can tell. Because most of the Pokemon have really uh, have one attack, whereas I would say most of the Pokemon here have two. Um, in, in these cards and in most of the Pokemon trading card games that I've played, sometimes you'll get one that just has one uh, one attack. But for the most part, uh, like this one only has one, but also it has a Pokemon power. The, they are mechanically a little bit more interesting cards. Um, and and this game really wants to simplify things. So a lot of Pokemon just have one attack. Um, I'll give you a, I'll give you a really good example. There is a Hitmonchan card. And it's very much trying to be like the base set Hitmonchan because it is the base set Hitmonchan art. Um, and instead of having jab and special punch like it does in the base set, I think it just has jab. And, you know, it costs one fighting energy and it does jab. And also it does 30 damage instead of 20, which seems crazy uh, for like these cards that we're playing with. But also there's like a power creep. Everybody's got much more HP than they than they did in base set and, and even in this Neo expansion. Um, so, you know, 30 damage, it doesn't mean what it used to anymore. And, but that's its one attack. It doesn't get a better attack. You put one er energy on it and you don't, you don't do anything more to it. And I find that to be not not bad, not lame or anything. It's just a little less than I would want. It, it's it's a little mechanically shallow compared to the kinds of Pokemon cards that I want to play with. And and there are better Pokemon cards in there. There's you know like an EX Blastoise that has two different attacks, and you know you you're leveling it up and you can do stuff, and that's kind of cool. But for a lot of it, it's just. This Pokemon has one attack, and most of the attacks just take one energy, and it's it's just a little shallow. But it's okay that it's shallow because it's kind of meant to be this really shallow, simple, easy experience. Um, because you can collect the cards. Like collecting the cards, I would say, is probably the biggest thing you do in that game. Is that you're finding. It's just, oh, it's cool to see the new art and you're trying to find like the special treatments of, of art and grab grab those cards and you can display them and show them to your friends and put them on your profile and, and that's kind of cool. Um, I also really like that they've added like a wonder trading style mechanic in there where you can see what other people have picked up in their packs lately and you get a chance to get one of the cards from those packs by using a different currency, and that also um, becomes free over time. And you can go into their picks and, and go like, I would like a chance at taking one of their cards. And they, you know, they three card Monty at all, like, it's five card Monty in this way, where they flip them all over and they swap them around and they say, pick, pick which card you want. And you grab a card and you go, oh, that's the rare from their pack. That's really cool. Or you know, more more often than not, it's not the rare. Um, but you do get a card from their pack, and, th and that's cool. So you just add some extra cards, and you can thank them, and uh, thanking them gives them another currency that they can spend in a shop. Um, so I think, I think that stuff's kind of neat. But then you get to the battling, and you have to get to level three to, to start battling, and you get to level three by collecting more cards. But when you get to the battling, it's, it's interesting how they've taken this game or like the mechanics of the Pokemon training card game, not this game specifically, um, and f fixed it for a smaller, like adapted, it, adapted it for this, for this quicker, smaller bite sized play that you could do on a phone that you could do, you know, while you're on a bus. Uh, and, and I think that's kind of interesting. So some of the changes they've made, <clears throat> You see, we can make a 60 card deck here. That is what a standard Pokemon deck should be. Um, these are 20 card decks. And instead of having up to four copies of a card, like, oh, we can put this four Magmars in. We can't put five because four, four is the max. Um, in this game, two is the max. So I could only put two Magmar cards in uh, before it would stop me. And <clears throat> one of the other interesting things is that they don't use energy cards 
instead of having energy cards, what happens is it's a little bit more like uh, it's kind of like Hearthstone in a way where you generate an energy every turn and you can put that energy on a Pokemon. Now, it's not it's not like Hearthstone in that you generate one and then you generate two and then you generate three. It is it is that it's still an energy. You still have to place it on a Pokemon and that's your one energy per turn. Um, but you just don't get the cards for it. So you are not picking the energy and it doesn't, it, it helps to smooth out the curve a little bit in some ways. Like if you're playing a mono color deck, if you're just playing a grass deck, uh, that's just grass and colors Pokemon, you're always going to get a grass energy every turn and play it on there. So it is kind of nice to know that I don't have to worry about, you know, flooding or, uh, you know, getting, getting mana screwed as we call it in, in magic. Uh, because you're always getting an energy every turn. That's great. But if you're trying to play a two-color deck, like I have a, a fighting and water deck in in the pocket game, and what <laughs> they it's I think it's randomly chosen. It might even be randomly chosen, like based on a percentage of the ratios of cards that you have. It, it feels like it might be that way. Uh, so what happens is, you know, I've got a water Pokemon out there and now it's giving me fighting energy for the turn. And I go, well, I can't do anything with that. That's the, the water Pokemon needs water energy. Um, there are still Pokemon that that can take colorless energy and, and do fine. But I find many more cards want the specific energy type of the of the card type that it is. And and that's fine it just makes those de decks a lot riskier and i would argue less less fun less interesting um it just it it flattens the game in a way uh, there's also no prizes you know we took six prize cards from from ken in that battle and in this one you don't get an extra card for knocking a, a pokemon out what happens is it's just the first to three knockouts wins and um, I guess if you knock out an EX Pokemon, those are better. So you get two points uh, instead of instead of one. In the same way, you collect two prize cards off of one of them um, in in paper. But it's it's all of these little changes that they've made that that combine to to make for a weird little microcosm of the Pokemon trading card game. And it's not bad. It's just different. And uh, yeah, so it's okay. I I think it's I think it's neat as as something that you can play on a phone or on an iPad, and you know grab some new cards, and look at them and build some decks. And uh, they do have the thing that I've kind of been asking for uh, is they have a way to play a computer, and the computer has pre-built decks, and you can go up against those and. Uh, it feels a little bit like this. Now, the decks are much simpler, uh, of course. It's like this the psychic deck. It's all going to be psychic cards. Whereas, you know, I guess you get that here, too, in that you have these clubs that are using specific cards. But you do have opponents that play multiple colors sometimes in, in these games. And, you know, maybe I'll get to some levels of decks that, that do that more in, um, in pocket. But... For now, uh, it is it is just like a fun thing to play every once in a while. Uh, I'll tell you one last thing as we as we build this deck that I'm just realizing that the pocket does better than this is that uh, once you have the cards, you can put them in as many decks as possible and you don't need to have extra copies of them. So we don't have any bills here because all of our bills are in our Totodile deck and we can't we don't we don't have we don't have access to any more bills <laughs> um so i think what we end up having to do let's cancel let's uh let's take one last look at our totodile deck because i think we're about to dismantle this thing so just so we remember we had four totodiles three croconaws a four alligator um our merrills and our zoomeral that quillfish a whooper some, some good water stuff. Uh, we had our um, mill tanks. And we have our uh, trainer package, which uh, energy search, switch, pokeball. Um, probably, you know what? Let's add a gust of wind. 
let's, um... I don't really care about Defender so much. It does help sometimes, but I don't care about Defender as much. I would care about um, a plus power if we would ever find one of those. So let's grab that. Um, actually, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before, before we really do anything crazy here, let's, uh, let's go back. Let's put this back the way it was. And... Save. And let's go back to uh, Mason's lab. And I can't remember if he had, like, a way to save current decks. I know there's, like, the auto deck machine that if you put in... Sure. I think these are saying these are cards I don't have, or I need... 23 more cards to be able to build the Chicory Starter deck, so that's not what I'm looking for. No, I don't want to build a deck. Okay, so, yeah, we have the deck machines that... that allow us to build these special decks once we have the metal. Which one's the fire? Science. Hey, there you go. Insert the fire metal. Okay. Sure. So we can build the decks from them. Uh, again, we're missing lots of cards there. Uh, this is their deck save machine. Let's save our... Save a deck. Save... Oh, we should probably call this something different. Uh, okay, let's... Deck, Totodile, change name, change it to... Uh, okay, here, here's, here's something, because we have both a, uh, both water Pokemon and our mill tanks. Let's call this the Surf, and, oh, well, let's get a space in there. Surf and <laughs> Turf Deck. Yay. Um, all right, we will save Surf and Turf to the deck machine. So now we can come back here, we can build this, rebuild this deck if we ever need to come back to it. Um, let's dismantle this now. Okay. Uh, so, we're gonna take on the grass. I think, uh, we'll look at some fire options here. Oh, I guess there was some electric stuff in here as well. Lightning stuff. Maybe we probably could have done a play on that. Let's keep the, uh, let's keep the mill tanks, and then let's add that, uh, gust of wind... That seems fine. And then let's keep 24 energy, but let's just go 24 grass and see, or fire. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I like a, I like a smoke screen. I think that's solid. Uh, Magby is relatively weak, but those can be useful. These Magmars are also okay. They're not my favorites. Uh, let's just add three. Um, we do have those Kalavas. I don't think those are that great, honestly. Um, we've got the one Slugma. We have Hound Doors, but no Hound Dooms. Although, you know, can poison. Yeah, these aren't bad. Definitely our Entes. And we have a Charmander and we have a Charizard, but we do not have a Charmeleon, so that's a little rough. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a Flareon there. Let's 
13 fire. Put on our Eevees for the Flareon. So, four more cards to work with. What do we want to do here? Nah, I don't really like the Togetic. We've got Wigglytuff and Igglybuff, but not a Jigglypuff. Fables. Search deck for a basic energy card attached to one of your Pokemon. It's not awful. It's not great, but you know what it is? Three slots that we can fill. Those. We don't have the right energies for those. Could use this Dunsparce, I guess. It's not very good. We can paralyze, though. It's something. Unless we wanted to splash another color, we could take out some of these. Um, some of these guys that are less interesting. Then what we switch into? I guess you know we've got an Espeon. We could do stuff with our EVs. We've got Jolteon. If we want to do stuff with our EVs. Mm, that's right, the giraffe rig. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. That's that's better than than these things. Let's take out that uh no, I'll leave the dunce person, I guess. Can we find anything else that is halfway average here? Why are you a psychic Pokemon? I guess they haven't made darks yet. Mm. Yeah, I guess I guess all you do is take colorless energy. So why don't we? We could just leave it like this and never use the confuse ray. Let's do that. So we'll we'll we're splashing psychic, but we don't need to splash any psychic energy. So we can just keep all the fire energy on, which is a little silly with uh, with Entei because we could have the option to uh, to use more uh, to use more types of energy because it all convert to fire anyway. But um, I think for just taking out the grass deck, let's uh, let's go with that, and we'll have to rename this something. So uh, you know, until we maybe we'll come up with a name as we play, but let's just call this the Ente deck right now. Uh, I think Ente is my favorite beast, right? Hey, Raikou's pretty cool. I, I was never the biggest Suicune fan. Uh, should we save this? Yeah, let's go ahead and save it. We can always delete it later if we need to. Uh, I like the I I like the idea of the Pokemon movie. I can't, I honestly cannot remember the uh, that Pokemon movie whatsoever. I do remember getting the the Ente card from from going and seeing it. All right, let's go back. Let's take on Brittany. Let's see how this deck performs. Entei right away. It does takes too much energy though. You have to discard one. Um Yeah, the Hound Hour might be better. Because the Magmar takes too energy. I really like doing an attack with my first turn, so let's play the Hound Hour. Let's put an Entei on the bench. Let's put a Miltake on the bench. Let's leave Magmar. No, let's put the Magmar on the bench, too. Nice. Uh, oh, also, about the, the trading card game pocket, one of the other interesting things, I, I don't know, maybe they've changed the rules on this uh, in competitive Pokemon cards, and I just... nobody told me. Um, if you go first, 
you can put your Pokemon out first, you can draw a card, you can play trainer cards, but you don't get to put an energy out on your first turn. So you can never attack on your first turn. And you can't evolve Pokemon on your first turn like, like as normal. So you just put a bunch of your Pokemon out there and then the opponent gets to go and then they... I, I do not see the advantage to going first. I, the, I guess the only advantage would be if you had trainer cards that can screw up your opponent's hand. Uh, you could play those like a, like a lass. I don't know if there's a lass in the game. Um, but mostly there, there is a there's a like a it's a red card. It's called where it just shuffles your opponent's hand into their into their deck and then they draw three. So I guess that is a way of potentially screwing up your opponent on turn one. Um, but on your opponent's first turn, they draw a card. They can play an energy. They they can't evolve a Pokemon still. So I guess the other advantage is that you can evolve a Pokemon first, but you don't get to attack first. I don't know. I, I feel like you are at a real disadvantage going going first, which is crazy for a card game because I feel like all the card games are like going first is best. And this one, I think it is very much worse. And uh, not not a fan of that. I'm I'm always wanting to lose the flip when I play the pocket game. Whereas here, it's like you want to win every flip you can. Crazy to me that they would do something like that. Uh, let's Pokedex first so we can see which cards we're getting. Uh, definitely want the bill. Definitely want the energy search. And let's go ahead and take the giraffe rig, or we take the EV. Let's take the giraffe rig, because we'll, then what we're going to do is play the bill, draw two cards. It's a bill and an energy search. We knew that. We're gonna then play the bill, draw two more cards, the giraffe rig and the mill tank, and now we're going to use the energy search to get a fire energy and then we shuffle that deck so we don't have to worry about it. I guess I guess we probably should have taken the EV instead of the the mill tank and ordered it that way um, but mill tanks a good card I mean we already have a mill tank so we're fine but I guess it's nice to have one in the back uh, let's go ahead and throw a giraffe rig on the bench and we will just bite for double damage pretty sweet and then if they don't get out, we uh, should be able to kill it next turn with Threaten. Oh, let's grind their whole hand. Drawing fresh six. And <laughs> drawing more. This is what I love about the, the Pokemon trading card game. It's like just throwing a bunch of trainer cards and, and doing crazy stuff on your turn. And it's one of the things they've somewhat gotten away from. Uh, now they've made like supporter cards for trainers and you can only use one supporter. So like Professor Elm would be a supporter. Uh, Bill would be a supporter. Um, so you only get to use one of those cards per turn. Uh, and then they have tools, uh, which are like the Pokeball or a Switch or a Gust of Wind. And you can play as many of those on your turn as possible uh, as you want. But uh, I just, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, It's different. It's different in a way that doesn't feel like the Pokemon trading card game to me. Even though it still very much is. Alright, we will take a quick knockout. Smeargle! Look at that little guy. We gotta look at his attacks. I'm not even putting any energy on Smeargle. Sketch, choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks. Sketch copies that attack, except for his energy costs. That's cool, except he's only got 50 HP, so... I mean, that, that is the only thing you can do in the game, so sure, you, you put Sketch on him here, but... Man, I, I think he'd be dead before he really gets to use anybody's attack, especially if he sketches... Like, the defending Pokemon has to have a good attack, which means they have a good attack. <laughs> and they'll probably kill him the next turn. Uh, they don't have any energy on the Chikorita. They've got one energy on the Scyther. Man, that agility is so good. And, uh, and then the Clefairy. Okay. 
So let's play a fire on Entei. And what's the threatened dude? Is this um, like reduce their attack? Oh, can't play trainers. Right, right, right. Uh, which is useful. Although they've already used a bunch of trainer cards, so maybe they're okay. But stopping them from doing any more. Oh, God. <laughs> uh oh. What's that Sizer do? <laughs> Caesar. Slash and Fury Cutter. Slash is just normal. Nine coins. Wow. Oh, another change they've they've got in the, uh, in the... Oh, did I not put an energy in? Yeah, I did, I did. I put it on Ente. Um, another change is that they only put on... Um, the. There's no resistances, which I think is really lame. Uh, but even the weaknesses they've toned down, it's not double damage. It is plus 20 damage, which uh, makes a big difference if you're if you're trying to knock out some of these really bulky Pokemon. Uh, I, I don't know exactly how I feel about that. Alright. Houndor is still putting in the work. Houndour. Okay. Could potentially take us out next turn. Pokeball was a bust. Um. Does the switch have uh, a coin? No, no, no coin flips for switching. Let's, let's just do it. Let's go for it. And we'll see if we just keep up enough fire energy to uh, run the table with Entei. Another Hound Hour. Ooh, didn't attack. Didn't get the energy. That's a bummer, bud. You gonna you gonna die. That works. Hey, who who knew a legendary Pokemon card like Entei would be pretty solid? We just get mysteries from her. That's sweet. The Blossom. Hey, we just got that card. Pseudo Wudo. I have one of these um, in real life. It's uh, it's in that binder. I was just looking at it. It's uh, Japanese, but I've got one. I remember that art. Flail and Rock Throw. Okay. Jolteon that we've seen before. Dragonair, we have one of these. Yep. Uh, the Mysterious Fossil. Another Oddish. Fighting one. Okay. Cleffa. Eek! Discard your hand, then draw six cards. Wow, it's a Professor Elm on a body. Very small body. You know, it's actually kind of kind of interesting. Put it up there, you sacrifice it more or less, but you do get to draw a fresh hand. I could see us using that. Dragonite, Tailwind, reduce the tree cost of your active Pokemon to zero. That's pretty sweet. Flipping coins, less sweet. I do like how there's multiple energy costs though. I, I think that's a... I wish the attack was better. Like, yes, it can do 80 damage, but it could do zero damage. And the idea of having to have a multicolor deck to be able to even play this, I feel like these attacks need to be way better than that. So I'm not, not a big fan of that, but Dragonite's still one of my favorite Pokemon. I uh, got a Gloom. Got a Vile Plume. Poison, and then, yeah, okay. And you're confused no matter what after you do it, but you, yeah, more flipping. I don't love that. Another Jolteon that we've got, Horsey that we've got, we've got all these. Okay. 
Pretty good. Pretty good. Who else can we take at the Grass Club? Heather. I feel like there is one of these. I, it might be in the Grass Club where two people have switched. Or like it's... It's somebody who's not from the club is there, and it's actually a different club member. So that's that's kind of a cool way of, oh, you thought you were taking on grass Pokemon, but you're actually taking on this other thing instead. Uh, this is the one that can poison, right? Flips coins for poison. Magby's also pretty sweet. Let's let's go with the Hound Hour for now. We'll play out the Magby. We can play out all these guys. They're all useful. They just have the one. So there's a chance if we flip this right. No, we didn't. <laughs> oh, they also don't have a grass Pokemon there. Um, Let's... Yeah, let's go ahead and play Magmar. The, the idea is, like, if... And I did this a lot in the uh, in the original Pokemon trading card game because there was the Rattata card, which only had 30 HP. And if you had a uh, Hitmonchan out, uh, you could turn one, uh, hit that Rattata for 40 damage because jabbed is 20, and then it would double on, on a colorless Pokemon like Rattata. And you knock it out. They didn't have anything on their bench, and you just win turn one before they even start. Um, that's something you could definitely do in the in the card game, which is what they're trying to get away from with with pocket and and the newer rules, which I get. But also, like I think that's I think if you keep a hand like that, you're already you've already screwed up. So I, I don't mind punishing somebody for keeping a hand like that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the other energy on there so we get the ember. I am glad that Ember for uh, Hound Hour here does not um, make you discard the energy card like it does for Cind Cyndaquil, I think. All right. Let's hope for Tails. Damn. Okay. That's fine. Let's uh, put it on Magmar. And then we can't attack to Tailwag, so we'll just end the turn. Okay, the stalling continues. That's a good card to get. Uh, let's check the Magmar again. I know the one attack, so it does it does want three. Knowing that we've only got three energy, I want to put. I want to make sure we can keep attacking with this Magmar. So let's. Uh, Let's focus our energy on that for now. Okay, he does the extra damage from Quick Attack, but now we take out the Eevee. You still don't have anything on your bench. This game's over. Okay. You did it. <laughs> they drew a lot of cards to, to not ever put anything else on their bench. We didn't really see what their deck does. Coliseum Packs, Ampharos, we already got these. We already got a lot of these. We've gotten a lot of Coliseum Packs so far. Energy Removal! Love this card, although... Yeah, now it's a flip. Of course it's a flip. Bad. Bad. How can you take a good card like that and ruin it? Another Slowking. Ledian. It's our first time seeing this one. Ever an attack does damage to this Pokemon after applying weak deserves resistance during your opponent's next turn, the attack does half. Okay. Oh, my comet punch. Flip a bunch of coins, yep. Bailey, Flaffy, Energy Retrieval. Okay. Um, I'd like to take on Heather more and see more of her deck, but if she's just giving Coliseum packs, I'm less interested. Take on Kristen. Oh, maybe that's it. Like, there's a there's another grass 
club member, but she's in like the rock club or something. And you got to find her and defeat her before the grass club um, master shows up. All right, we will start with Magby. And we'll have an Ente on the bench. Lots of potions. We can hopefully keep this Magby out for a while. Not get to go first. Chansey. Okay, they don't get another bench Pokemon. Chansey does have a an attack. Okay, Magmar, that's helpful. Let's look at this Chansey a little bit more. Pound and Double Edge. Double Edge just murders our Magby. So, I think what we're going to do, we're going to put one <clears throat> energy on Magby, and we will smokescreen. Now, there's a question of whether this Chansey actually gets its tax going. And hopefully we can stall it out for a turn or two. Nice, they keep missing their Pokeballs. Damn. Let's go ahead and grab Fire Energy. Um, I would like to force them to use Double Edge. So I'm gonna put the potion here. We're still gonna smoke screen, so maybe they can't attack at all anyway. Um, and then, because we only have two fire energy, I'm gonna put them on Magmar. So if they do get through, they have to get through a double edge, so they'll do another 20 damage to themselves. Or they miss, which is even better. I think we can hang on to that Professor Elm for now. These potions might still come in handy. Uh, what does Flare do? Doesn't it, like, grab energy cards from the bin? Yeah. And yeah, we've got none in there at the moment, so we'll just keep smoke screening, seeing how much we can slow this Chansey down. Nice. So now we've got enough that if this Chansey does knock us out with double edge, it takes the damage and then we can kill it with Magmar. Did get a bench Pokemon. We're still in it. Sure, let's play a Pokeball. What do we even want? Miltank, Houndour, another Entei. Giraffe Rig's not the worst. I think we probably just take another Magmar. Uh, what's our retreat cost on Magby? Zero. That's also good. Um. All right, we'll we'll do smoke screen one more time. And now, if Chansey misses again. We can swap in Magmar for free and just knock it out and keep the Magby. Or if they knock out the Magby, it's fine. We can bring the... Okay, they finally get their attack in. That'll work. And now we can play our Magmar and finish out the Chansey. Let's start loading up this Entei. Smoke screen. No, smoke screen won't work for the next Pokemon that comes in. This is only affecting the Chansey, which is dead anyway, so it didn't really matter. We could have used either attack. Flareon doesn't matter too much. Okay, that's 
fine. Yeah, that's also fine. Because we can just knock this out. Yeah. You did do that to us. We'll just potion anyway. Throw it on Ente. And fire punch to win. We're getting some quick games in here. Evolution packs, okay. A different Ampharos. That art is interesting. Ion Storms. 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It's not bad. Put the coin, if it's tails, it is 30 to itself. Not great if you're already putting four energy on a card like that. Hitmonchan, not not our not our boy. Oh, it is our boy! It's just different art! Oh hell yeah! That's our boy. Although I think Special Punch used to be two fighting and a colorless. Am I right? Let me let me let me make sure of that. Base set Hitmonchan. Yes, it used to be two fighting and a colorless, and now it's three fighting, so a little tougher to splash. Uh, but man, God, what a what a card! What a card! Also, that's a hang on, hang on. This this is different. So okay, it's three. It's three retreat cost where it used to be two. Uh, it's sixty HP where it used to be seventy. Man, they they really did our boy dirty. But at the end of the day, it's still Hitmonchan. It still hits like a truck. I love this card. We'll, we'll definitely play this at some point. But man, great card. Some floor we've seen, last we've seen. We finally got a Jigglypuff. Cool. That all seems pretty standard for that. Nominite. Good Hound Hour. We can swap out one of our... Lesser Hound Dowers with this one. Another Scyther. Sweet. Another? Maybe our first? I don't know. Love the Scyther card, though. How much uh, HP? It only has 50 HP. Man, they're really, they're really trying to stop the big basics. Which I get. I get it. But also, it makes me sad. That's, that's the Pokemon cards I remember and love. Another big Charizard. That's the one with the electric attack, too, right? Yeah. Electabuzz. A Polyrath. Mega Punch and Submission. How much do you think submission does back to a 60? Or no, no, uh, 30? Probably does 30. 20, okay, you know, not as bad. Maintenance. It's not very good. Because that's, you're trading three cards. Not, not just the two you're shuffling, but you're playing the maintenance. So that is three cards to get one card. It's not a, it's not good card advantage there. Another mill tank, sweet. You can, you can make a, a full set of mill tanks. Nikki's at Ishihara's house. Okay. Maybe it's a different mechanic that I'm thinking of. Not a mechanic, like a different club. Trade, but we can talk to Nikki. All right. Even after that interaction, do you want to trade? No. Okay. Because he only wants to trade at certain intervals. And also, the challenge hall is only open at certain intervals. And it's not right now, because you need the two ladies who are standing here who don't let you walk up here, because you need to do that. So we'll come back after every medal, and we'll see uh, We'll see about that. Back to the grass club. Let's just uh, try taking on Nikki, then.
Oh, we should have traded out the Hound Hours. Um... I want to start with the Hound Hour, I think. Maybe get an early poison, maybe knock some stuff out. Let's also throw on Magby, and let's throw on Miltank, and let's keep this other one in our hand. She does have a bunch of bench Pokemon already, so... No early knockouts. Go second. She's got a Miltank. Getting a lot of cards in her hand. It's a good start for her. And she gets a tackle off. Damn. Would have really liked that. Um, it's fine. If we if we flip it right next time, we still can take well never mind. <laughs> Okay, not poisoned and confused. That is good. That is really good. Magmar. Okay. Let's, uh... Amber would do 40. So not enough. I'm gonna say let's leave that Houndor to die, unfortunately. Houndour. I always, I always used to call it Houndor, and... It's obviously Hound Dower, because that's the dower is the word. I, you know, old habits, man. Um, we already played the energy on Magmar, right? Yeah. Uh, so Magmar is going to be a better Pokemon to just come in after this is over. But can we get the poison? We cannot. It shouldn't matter. Unless they, uh, unless she evolves this into Vile Plume, we should be able to take this out with the. Uh, or Blossom. Or Blossom. <laughs> and Mega Drains. And does damage. And heals up a little bit. Jesus. That's a... Uh... Alright. Potion's useful. Smokescreen does 40. And maybe they don't attack? Another Professor Elm. And a Bill. Damn. Damn. <laughs> well... This is, uh, this is not good. Really need you to miss. Damn. Uh, I don't think we can win now. Getting the energy is helpful, so we can, at the very least, no, we can't. We can't even take this out, right? Yeah, we need another energy. We're super. Oh no, because she could just use flower dance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, this is over. Because uh, our mill tanks aren't going to be able to do enough. Um, she can use. Oh, well, she could just use flower dance and kill us again. Um, we don't have any energy. We are going to take a loss on this one. Damn. That Blossom is real good. That's a really good card. Yeah, we could put it on the mill tank. It doesn't matter. It only has 70 HP. We're, we're dead. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's chalk that one up to bad luck. She she was able to flip through a couple of smoke screens. She got the cards that she needed. She had a lot of card draw. I mean, if we had four bills and four Professor Elms in our deck, we'd probably we'd probably do okay too. Oh, that 
that's uh okay. We do have card draw. It's not really the Pokemon we wanted to see here. Also don't get to go first. Yep. Okay, at least not asleep. I mean, I, it wouldn't matter for this turn, because we can't do an attack. Uh, Alright, let's use our bill. Evening Hound Hour. Let's use another bill. Okay, these are, these are not amazing cards. I'd really like our Entei. I'd really like a Magmar. Do not want to get put to sleep now. Oh, it's fine because they're using Razor Leaf. We do have a potion. Let's go ahead and use that now. All right, that's good. And that one does, unlike Smokescreen, that affects our Pokemon. So even if we knock this Chikorita out, the next Pokemon wouldn't be able to hurt us uh, at all. Okay, we can play the Magby. Uh, let's get that Giraffe Rig ready to go. Okay, miss this one. So we are going to take the 30 from Chikorita. Or the 20? 20. 20. Unless they evolve it. She's thinking a lot. Switched out. Interesting. Okay. It's going to take a while to knock out, so I guess that works. Oops. Um, so that allows us to put our maximum of attack for either, for any Pokemon that we bring out, because we've got another energy, so we can get that second energy on whoever needs it. Wait, why didn't we do any damage to this? Does this have a... Did she heal it and I missed it or something? Oh, it's got a resistance. Yeah. Duh. Duh, you idiot. Uh, so we need to retreat, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's what we have to do. Retreat, bring out Hound Hour. This at least stops them from playing trainer cards. Not good. Not good at all. Flareon, but we don't have any energy for it. Alright, I think this Wigglytuff just knocks us out. If it gets an energy on it, right? Oh no, they're swapping. Okay. So I have to put this on Magby? No, because the, uh... Flare has Flare. That's risky, but I think we have to do that. So now the Hound Hour gets knocked out next turn. And we can play the Flareon. And we have to flare to get the energy cards back. It's not great. The 
really want to draw a fire. That's not bad. We wanted to draw the fire so we could use Flare and then use Flamethrower next turn, but now we can't do that. So we'll take the energy. So I think actually we have to leave Flare on out as a sacrifice as we build up Entei. you want to retreat. Okay. Yeah. Um... So we put the giraffe rig out, we knock this thing out. We already did the energy. Now I think that wiggly tough can come out and mess us up. Okay, she doesn't have the energy for it. So now we can load up the Entei. And our attack does nothing, but we were really hoping to flip heads just so we make sure that we don't take anything on the back end. She's not attacking anyway, so that's fine. Um, I don't really want the mill tank. How is she on energy? Hopip has one. Bayleaf has two, but is almost dead. That Oddish has none. Okay, yep, we just do it. Retreat. Bring out Entei. Just gotta draw fire energy. That's very useful. Breeder? Uh oh. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, so we take this out. Fire, that's good. Hop up comes out. She's trying to slow us down so she can. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Not trying to slow us down. She's trying to kill us. Oof, that's rough. We really need to wake up. Okay. So we can take this out. That blossom is still uh, deadly. Uh, we want the switch. The energy search, with the magmar. I guess. Uh, okay, you gotta put that on the Entei. Entei's probably dead here. Um, I, actually, I don't know how much energy is on the Blossom, so maybe not. But no energy. Okay, we. Oh, oh, we lived. We lived. <laughs> Wow! Alright, we'll take it. Two medals! Two medals in one, uh, in one episode. That's pretty solid. Laboratory packs. These are first of these. Let's get something good. Computer search, that's real good. We will absolutely use that. Wobafet. Pokemon damages Wobafet. This power does 10 damage to the attacking Pokemon. Even if it's knocked out. Okay. And then counter. Yeah, it, it plays a lot like uh, Wobafet does. That, take, that takes a Psychic, okay. There's that Chansey, not bad, you know. It's a, it's a big basic, it can do some damage the turn it comes out. 
we could use that. Uh, lantern, yep, we've seen that before. A Mantine. Bubble and Agility, that's... That's actually a pretty solid s stat line for that. Fancy. Okay, I like that. That could be useful. Pineco, tackle 10, self-destruct, just 10 damage to each Pokemon on each player's bench. Wow, that that is pretty cool. Chinchow, switch, switch is good. Shuckle. That's not the worst. 50 HP, I wish it was higher HP, but it's kind of decent as a stall. Mewtwo, hello, fire and psychic. That's interesting. Discard a psychic energy card attached to Mewtwo in order to use this attack. Prevent effects of all attacks. Ooh. That is pretty cool. It's not extremely self-sustaining with the uh, the discard energy requirement, but that's uh that could be unbeatable if you guarantee you got enough psychic energy. And Cyburn does 10 more damage for each energy card attached to the defending Pokemon, which is uh, pretty cool. Lantern, Skip Bloom, Imposter Professor Oak, that's not bad, not bad. That'd be a real cool thing to play on turn one and just screw up their hand. Porygon, Data Sword, draw a card or tackle, that's not great. Another Mantine, another Shuckle. Cycle, flipping a coin to not even put it in your hand. So you flip a coin, and if it's heads, you get to put a, ca a card. That's better. That's better. I thought it was just a Pokemon card, but you put any card from your discard pile on top of your deck, so you don't even draw it that turn, you know, unless you had a bill or something. It's not good. It's not good. Turn one poison's not bad. Eternal Paralysis isn't that bad. Still not very good, though. And a Switch. Okay, we got some, we got some pretty useful um, trainer cards there. Uh, I think what we might do, we might play against Nikki a couple more times next episode and see if we can get some more laboratory facts. Because um, those seem pretty good. And we might also have to try to figure out, you know, we already kind of have this Psychic Fire deck with, uh, with Giraffe Rig. So maybe you, uh, maybe you could just build like an Entei Mewtwo Fire Psychic deck. I could see that being useful. You can load it up with more Psychic Energy than Fire, because the Psychics work fine on Entei. Like the couple of Fires that you need for Mewtwo's attacks. I see that coming together. I see that being a pretty useful deck, maybe, if we can get more copies of this stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead here. Let's write in our diary. We've got two medals now. Feeling good. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see what happens next time. We can we can keep on taking on Nikki. We can maybe go to the Water Club. Um, I think we've got enough enough decent cards to to maybe make that. We also have that Celebi deck that we talked about, a Grass Psychic deck, which could be uh, pretty cool that we uh, could try out. Lots of options, and I'm looking forward to exploring all of them here with you next time on I'm Just a Bill here on Chase K Plays. Uh, other places you can find me before we wrap up, uh, The Casual Hour, a podcast I do with my good friend Bobby P. It's about video games. Uh, it's in the description, but I think you can just go to thecasualhour.com and find all the stuff we do there. Uh, and then Pilot Program, another podcast I do with my other very good friend, Pierce Corshane. Uh, it's about television shows. In fact, we watched the first episode of every television show ever made it's going to take us a bit, but um, that that series is great. We've been on a, a break uh, for a bit because uh, my, my co-host has been uh, has had some stuff going on where he needed to take care of some things um, and uh, he's coming back. So we're, we're about to record the next episode of that and that should be out real soon. That's a lot of fun. Go check that out um, again. Link in the description. Um, that's it. We'll see you next time on I'm Just a Bill. Until then, take care.